Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. This is my very first video. I'm a little nervous, but I'm also a little excited. Is that a little better? Is this too close up? Am I too am I too much in you guys' face? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll back up a little bit, but I don't know. Hopefully I look good to you guys. I don't know how to put on makeup, so I'm not going to. <clears throat> maybe, maybe I'll learn something, you know. That's all it takes is a skill. But anyway, welcome to Dia's World, guys. Thank you for joining me on this channel. I'll be trying products for you guys, mostly self-care products. Like, um, in future videos, I'm going to do demonstrations on my oil diffusers, my facial mist, and um, show you some of the products that I have already. But for right now, I just want to do an introduction on myself. So my name's Odia. And I sell skincare products. I sell body scrubs. I sell body butters. I sell soap jellies. Um, soap jellies, shower jellies. And those are like, you could use those in the shower as a replacement for shower gel. I'll show you guys later on in another video. But I'm just going to talk about a few of my, well, maybe not a few. I'm just going to talk about one of my products right now because that's all I have with me. I'll show you guys that later on in the video. But yeah, thank you for, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Um, like I said, I sell and I make skincare products. So I make them all from scratch. So I be in the kitchen, testing things out, inventing stuff, trying new things, seeing how it works so that I could sell it to you guys. But... I want to get I want you guys to get to know me so I wrote down one two three four five questions so that you guys could get to know a little bit about me and my business so the first question I have is why did I start a business well to be honest with you um, ever since I was a little girl I've always been like attracted to certain fragrances and perfumes and body sprays and shower gels oils i've always i guess i've always just been interested in like aromatherapy and i always just always just like the spa even though i've never been to one but i would like to i always like the spa theme and i guess that's why i'm interested in um in skincare products and skincare products and spa products like oil diffusers like i have a bunch of incense like maybe maybe in another video i can show you guys what type of incense i use and i'll just show i'll just show you guys a whole bunch of everything especially especially like during this pandemic which is important to take care of yourself not even in a pandemic because we have daily stressors but I'll show you guys what I what I do personally. I'm sorry if you hear any background <laughs> noise. I have a I have a seven years old. I have a seven years. I have a seven year old. <laughs> His name is Tristan. I actually named my business after my son Tristan. Um, so the name of my business is called Tristan Treasures, and you guys can follow me at Tristan Treasures 88, and you guys can get a little bit more content from me on my social media platform, Instagram, Facebook. I don't have a Twitter yet, but I'm thinking about making it. I'm not the most tech savvy person at all, but for what I want to do, like, I have to learn. So literally, I'm learning everything from scratch. I, I didn't go to school to learn any of this stuff. I literally, my best resource was my phone. My phone, YouTube, um, Pinterest. Pinterest helped me out a lot. But I guess before like Pinterest and YouTube, I would, I would say Google. But Pinterest has like an aesthetic that just sucks me in and I'm just so attracted to it. I get a lot of inspiration um, as far as what type of products I want to sell. And just a lot of inspiration, even even here inspiration. But um, yeah, so I always known that I wanted to do something with fragrances, like 
because fragrances always boost my mood like you know like when you walk by like a guy and he smells so good like it just kind of turns you on a little bit like and you kind of remember him like that's how i feel about fragrances like in general like i love when people smell good i like to smell good i want to sell products to make you guys feel and also smell good and I feel like just just smelling good for me, it just boosts my mood. Like I said, this is why I have a bunch of incense, a bunch of, I don't have a bunch of oil diffusers, but I have one oil diffuser with, with a bunch of essential oils. I have candles from Bath and Body Works. I have candles from the grocery store. I have Glade candles. I even, I have all, I have a bunch of perfumes. Even though I make and sell perfume, not perfume, even though, I make and sell skincare products. I um still have a bunch of body sprays. Like I am obsessed. Like I love this stuff so much. Like I can't get enough of it. I have a bunch of shower gels. Um, I don't really use soaps that much, <clears throat> but maybe I might get into it. But shower gels are just so much fun. Like it's even fun just squeezing it and putting it in in your loofah or your sponge or whatever like it and i feel like it just i don't know i like the way it make my skin feel for me also how did i start my business <sighs> completely backwards <laughs> completely backwards is how i started my business i got my llc and then i i went through i went to this company that told me i had to pay for this and i had to pay for that to pay for none of that they just wanted my money and then you know fortunately um somebody told me like once you have your llc like it's yours like they can't take it away from you and i legally pay for it so once i learned that i just realized wow i was getting scammed <laughs> and i was like wow i had to pay 200 dollars for this and 200 dollars for that it was it was almost like a pyramid scheme like, have you guys ever been sucked into, like, a pyramid scheme and not and didn't even know it? So, yeah, that's how it was. But I am, I legit got my LLC. I got my EIN. I have all of that. It's mine, and can't nobody take that away from me. Also, um, <clears throat> I did get my LLC, but it was not necessary. <laughs> like, unless you're bringing, well, don't take my advice, but... And my life experience from my what I learned, I didn't need to get my LLC and like guys, like I basically spent like a thousand dollars, like one thousand dollars, not for the LLC, but like for all the other things they told me that I needed to get. I don't even remember what I was paying for. I just thought as a new business owner, I went to this company and I trusted them. So they were like, Oh, you have to pay two hundred dollars every two weeks for this that and the third and that is not true that's just that's bs like i didn't even need to get my llc to be honest with you i um what i needed to do was research <laughs> research 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 excuse me guys <coughs> i'm sorry so what i needed to do was research 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 i needed to see what my competitors were doing I needed to see, I needed to learn about the algorithm, algorithm, I needed to learn about SEO, I needed to learn about marketing, and you know what, I'm still, I still don't know all that stuff, I'm still learning as I go, so, but I'm not, I'm not really gonna give up, but I don't, I don't see me giving up, like, it gets hard, it really does get hard, but why would I give up on my dream? And I hope that none of you guys ever give up on your dream. Like, things are going to get hard. Like, just take, like, a mental break. Get some inspiration. YouTube really, um, really helps me out a lot. Like, it's just a bunch of other small businesses that I get inspiration from. Or, like, gurus. Or, or even the fine guru, you know? Even a fine guru has helped me out. Like, a bunch of other YouTubers. And I be on YouTube so much why not even why not start my own youtube channel about my life and you know like i said i want to i want to show you guys like i would like to show you guys what i use in my daily life to keep me sane and to keep me level-headed because i am um i'm very introverted 
um and I'm like a little I'm a little oh I have social anxiety uh real bad like really bad like I don't even like going to the doctor's appointment because like that's how bad it is but once I've always been this way but once I learned that it was like a normal thing even though like I should try to do better I felt like a little bit better <coughs> because whew, excuse me <laughs> yeah so I felt like a little bit better once once I learned that um I had social anxiety but it doesn't really go away you I guess you just over time learn coping mechanisms and hold on what was the question again why did I start a business? Oh, because I like smell good stuff. I like to make people smell good. I like to make people feel good. Excuse me, guys. My battery is dying. Yeah, so I like to make people smell good. I like to make people feel good. I want people to be feeling their best, feeling fresh and clean. You know, like when you're, when you're just, when you just take care of yourself, you know, as much as you can, to the best of your knowledge, like, it literally changed your mood, like, even, even though I didn't put no makeup on or whatever, because I don't know how, like, if you, if you guys see, like, I, pff, I didn't even got no eyebrows, and I don't even care, <laughs> but I do got some eyelashes, so I put some mascara on, and this video is longer than what I thought it would be. But anyway, I have some more questions because I really want you guys to get to know me. And if you're watching, thank you for staying with me. The next question was, how did I start my business? Oh yeah, I think I answered that. I um, I got my LLC, I was getting scammed. Um, ooh, I got um, a hosting website. Which none of that, none of that was important. Like, you know what I needed to focus on? I needed to focus on my target audience and marketing skills. And the only people that were really buying from me were, like, my friends that, like, I grew up with. And, like, like the people at my old job. Like, that's it. And then I wouldn't even focus on my business that much because I used to work at the movie theaters. But because of this pandemic, now I have a lot of time to focus on um my business and my next question is what are my best resources for my business my best resources for my business are free resources youtube google pinterest those are my best resources youtube has really like i said previously has really helped me out a lot how to start a business, how to set up an email, like, in, like just anything, like, even how to make a YouTube video. Like, there's so much tutorials on YouTube. So, if you're, if you're on YouTube, take time to, like, learn a new skill, you know, especially now when most of us have the time because it's out there. And I see a bunch of, a bunch of, like, um, what, what, what is that site, those sites called? I don't know, it's like when you pay $10 to learn like a skill, like skill trade or something like that. But YouTube has that for free most of the time. Like I was going to take a, a kit course for ten, which $10 or maybe $10 to $20, 10, $10 through $30 or something like that. Why? Why would I do that? I could just go on YouTube. And I, it almost feels like because you're paying for something, you're getting better quality quality but that's not always true i'm not gonna get into that but you guys know that that is just not always true so yeah my best resources are facebook pinterest youtube oh also word of mouth and your friends telling your friends like that has happened like one of my friends buy something from me they post it onto their to their wall on Facebook or they share it and one of their friends be like, Ooh, I wanna get a lavender body scrub too. So then they'll they'll get they'll get um they'll they'll help promote my business for me. Um so those are my those are my best resources. Pinterest not Facebook, I'm sorry, Pinterest, YouTube, 
Google and word of mouth. And um, my next question is, what is my future goals? What are my future goals for my business? Well, to be honest with you, I would like to make a certain amount of money and I would like to be able to help other people with their businesses but for right now I'm still I'm still learning so I don't want to just be all over the place and just start helping people when I'm still helping myself basically <laughs> so my 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 goal my goal for myself is to I guess be a, be financially stable you know I want to be able to not have to worry about my rent, but I also want to help other people too. I really do. I, and I want to make people feel good. I want to make people, I want to make people happy, you know? So eventually, like, even though I sell like individual products now, I want to sell like boxes and I want to have like special treats in them and self-care products to make people, to, you know, to lift people moves. And I'm not bragging or anything, but... Even though I did say I'm an introvert, a lot of people do like, they do like my personality naturally, which is like surprising and shocking because I'm such completely, I'm just not that social. I have, I can be social, you know, which I'm going to work on that too because I'm 32 y'all and I need to get out the house a little bit more. Even during this pandemic, like, I've seen a few things that was open, and hopefully I could find somebody to go with, because I don't drive. <laughs> like, I live in Pennsylvania now, but I'm from New York, and, like, we don't drive, we just take the bus. <laughs> we just take a bus, or when I was in New York, you just took a taxi, but now we have Uber. But I guess I, I, guess I should get a car, I mean, like, I'm thinking about it. I do have a son, and um, he has Asperger's, so... Sometimes it do get a little bit difficult traveling with him. A car will make things a lot easier for me. But that's that's in due time. And my last question is, how do I stay motivated? You're going to have bad days. Like, that's normal. Like, no, no process is linear. You know, like, nothing is straightforward. Like, you're going to have bad days. Like, honestly, you stay focused by writing your goals down. Um, you stay focused, you stay focused by when you don't feel like doing something, you don't, you don't do so much, but you get up and you do one thing. Like sometimes even if it's just like getting out of bed and just making your bed up, like somehow that motivates you to want to keep going or just look at, or just looking at your son's face or your child's face and like, nah, I got a family to feed. Like I gotta keep going. And even if you don't have a family to feed, if this if you have a goal, stick to it. It's not gonna be easy. You should um probably get like a mentor or 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 maybe there's somebody in your circle that you can go to that's that's doing what you've done and you could get advice from them, you know, and try to have like good people around you have supportive people around you because environment is so important if you're not in a bad environment it don't matter it don't matter what you do if you're in a bad environment you, you're just gonna feel like you're gonna feel like a fish out of water like you're just gonna feel uncomfortable you're gonna feel like something is wrong with you but there's nothing wrong with you maybe you're like unique or quirky or a little eccentric or or just a little different, un unorthodox, but so what? So what? If you're not in the right environment, find the right people. Find the right friends that motivate you. And people don't have to think about you. What's don't have to think like you. What's important to me is what's in somebody's heart and how they treat other people. That's how I know that, they're, that they'll be good to me because... I have friends that do not have the same faith or belief as me, but they love me and I love them and we support each other and we're there for each other. You know, like that's what's important. So, And also YouTube. 
YouTube is how I stay motivated. I see, I'm 32, but I see like younger women just getting it and hustling and they have their YouTube channel and they're starting out and they have businesses or they're just doing something positive. They motivate me. Um, it's just literally it's YouTube. YouTube helps me out a lot. Oh, and self-help books, self-help books too. And affirmations and and praying or maybe maybe if you don't pray or I don't know if you believe in God but if you just talk to God you know just let just let it out or talk to some or talk to somebody um, talk to somebody who cares about you you know they'll they'll help you but you know sometimes when you talk to people that care about you they really don't have no advice. <laughs> Because they're not in the your shoes, so they don't see your vision, so they, they can't necessarily tell you what to do. But you know they try. <laughs> like it was this one video where this this daughter had went up. There's not this video. This one commercial. This daughter had went up to. I am all up in y'all guys' faces. This daughter had went to her dad for like financial advice, and he was like, <laughs> "You can lead." a horse to water but you can't make him drink it and then the, the daughter was looking at the dad like what does that have to do with anything that i just asked you <laughs> she came to her dad for financial advice and then he walked off like he told her like the best advice ever but no he did not and also before i go i want to show you guys my um Look at this. It's so cute. It just makes me happy. Look at it. This is strawberry. This is my strawberry um body butter. Look at her. Isn't she cute? And I know that my face is a little ashy, but I did that, you know, strategically. Because I wanted to put some shea butter on for you guys already ever. This is this is a lot, so I'm gonna take some out. Look at that. Doesn't it just Look like a nice little Pepto Bismol. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that you don't need that much. And it really does make a difference. And when you use the shea butter, you don't need to like reapply it. Like you'll be moisturized all day long and you will smell amazing. I don't want to ruin my bangs, so. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And look, I feel prettier already. Look at my skin. I do have this pimple, but what can I do? What can I do about it? So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to comment down below. I will leave the link to my business in the in the description box. Um comment below like comment and subscribe bye guys